Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. And uh, my name is Chuck. I've been hosting this broadcast for about four and a half years, almost a thousand videos, definitely more episodes than that when we can't do videos. And it is always a pleasure to bring this to you. It's a lot of fun. And the reason we do it is because we believe that you deserve not only just the raw information, which you can kind of find anywhere. It's got the, the grip has been loosened on information by the real estate industry. Uh, but I think that what's missing everywhere else is the context, the interpretation, what's a good deal, what's not, what locations are good, which ones do you want to avoid. And so using our experience of helping more than a thousand people go through this, uh, we have an opportunity to really share that with you and help you become an educated buyer. So if you do like what we do on the videos, definitely reach out to us when it's time to purchase your home. And I know you're going to be absolutely thrilled. So let's get to the list. There's uh, nine properties today. So the first one is Riddell Crescent. Madame built home. It is uh, 1130 square feet. It's called a, uh, a Brennan or an Amesbury model. And when you come in the front door, you've got your closet plus your bathroom. Then there's just one big open room here. And the upgrades look nice. The hardwood is, uh, is a nice tone. Uh, you can tell they've dressed up a home. When you see things like this on the wall, it usually means that the owners care about their house, that they're not just doing the minimum standard. It's not just builder paint. Uh, so there it is. It looks like a nice home. Uh, lately, some of these uh, these models have crept up into the 380s. You also have the same model here on Beard for 389. Now it has a finished basement. Typically, the adjustment on a finished basement is somewhere between five, maybe on the high side, about ten thousand dollars for this model. But same thing, one big room here, and they've set it up with two. Some people just do one big open room. Some people do the dining room plus the living room. It's a little bit hard con to configure because you've got your chairs here. Where do you put your TV? It's a little tough because the stairs are right across here. Uh, some of them are completely open concept. Some of them have a uh, kind of a pillar in between. I like this shot here. So uh, just in case you can't imagine that window without blinds, there it is there. Uh, I find the other one just looks a little bit better, but for, for the 5,000 extra, if you assume that they're equivalent, because in person, the story could be totally different. The finished basement, I think, makes a big difference. I don't know why they would show that. I don't know if that's a real value booster is to show a, a storage area in the house. Uh, 303 Hobbs is 435.8. Kind of the same layout as, as the previous, but it's a, it's a larger home. You're getting a second bathroom upstairs, so you have two full bathrooms. The previous, you only have one full bathroom. So even when you finish the, the basement on the Amesbury, you wanna make sure that you put a bathroom down there. So you have two full ones. You back onto green space a little bit further over there is St. Anthony of Padua School. And the price looks not bad. I don't know if this front yard is really doing them a lot of justice. I think it kind of looks a little bit, um, I don't know, like the border and then you've got grass growing over here. I don't know if it would impress somebody from the, uh, the front. So the way we always talk about curb appeal is that you're not gonna you're not gonna win the war in the uh, from the curb, but you can lose it. We've had clients that have been right in the car with us, and they've said keep driving. So all you need to do on the first impression is to give them enough information so that they want to come inside and see the rest. This one on Tremaine has dropped their price, and uh, I actually don't think it's such a bad deal. The the concern about this area, Milton Heights which is Tremaine just south of the 401. Uh, this area, I believe, is going to be a cul-de-sac, and they're going to redirect Tremaine. So you've now got more traffic coming up to the house, but not necessarily right outside the house. But Milton Heights in general is going through, they're at the Ontario Municipal Board right now, and they're looking at possible redevelopment of some of the area. So you might find yourself in a much higher density area uh, probably within maybe five or ten years is that that area can really change a whole lot and it's funny when people start blaming the local government the mayors or the councillors because it's all been mandated from higher levels Ontario and Canada has said we need to fit a million people into Halton region in the next 20 years so guess what everybody's got to take some of that uh, it's just the way things work so um, we see that like that whole paradise lost effect like we have a couple great videos on online where we've taken flights over milton and some of the older people in milton have said hey this that's it's just disgusting what's happened but 
it's it's nobody no one individual or even a group of people is to blame for the growth it's just the way things happen and i'm sure there's people in the city of toronto that at one point uh in the core right downtown that have said hey this town is just uh, getting too big so agno crescent's 456 uh semi-detached and basically your one big room you've got your eating area beside the kitchen and hardwood floors hardwood staircase and then you've got three bedrooms upstairs my guess is it's probably between 16 and 1800 square feet to put a fence in here you normally share the cost with your neighbors although it can be political usually you're budgeting about an extra probably 1500 dollars for a home like this uh, although the fencing further back could actually be the fence here. So if you're just doing the one side, maybe it's 500 bucks. Anyway, it's uh, it's got a good sized lot at 100 feet. Shepherd, wh when you look at the room sizes here, if we zoom in on the room measurements, 22 by 932 uh, kitchen breakfast, it looks like a Lake Point model. It's scary that I even know the models just based on room measurements. Uh, but one big open room, semi-detached, it's a Madame home because it's on Shepherd, which would mean it's about, it's a little under 1400 square feet and it has no finished basement. Full does not mean finished and it backs onto green space. We can see that there's a wood floor here and they built a deck, which really for value purposes doesn't really add too much. Average return on landscaping is probably 20 or 25% when they've done the studies th through appraisals. Uh, granite counters. If it shows really well, there's an outside chance, but most of the lake points have sold probably in the kind of 410 to 430 range. And, uh, and then there's the premium for the green space, which could be anywhere from probably five to $20,000 extra uh, for most of the homes in this price range. You get up into a detached double garage, sometimes your premium can go up a little bit more because the scale of the, uh, the property. Bennett is uh, it's kind of in around the mid 1800 square feet. It's called a Wyndham Corner. Uh, the kitchen, lighter color cabinets plus the white appliances. Usually the trend is more dark stainless steel. To redo that kitchen, $100 a door plus put new appliances in. You could walk into a home like this and, uh, and probably invest five to $8,000 and have a completely different kitchen. Uh, if you do the counters, you're at 10. And we've seen this exact model with a finished basement same as this one toilet seat up is not a good thing for pictures we've seen this model sell 525 526 535 with a finished basement so there is upside here there's a lot of potential i think they've priced this one well and uh, it's not too far from so there's two schools that's kind of right in between so hawthorne village if you go south of here and then you also have uh guardian angels two very well-renowned schools in Milton. Uh, Hawthorne Village was ranked in the top 25 schools in Canada by today's parent magazine. So very nice stuff. I think it's a it's a great price. The, uh, the other thing, it's right across the street from a big community park. There's a splash pad right there. There's a lot of green space close by. Uh, this one on Cedar Hedge is a little bit bigger without the finished basement. And there you go, 529, it's a little bit high on the price. There is a virtual tour you can click. There's no photos available. I checked the tour, seems okay to me, but the uh, the one on Bennett by far is better value in my eyes. And then we have this one on Gleave, which is 549. And it's about 2,200 square feet. It's a Madame home. I find the kitchen's a little bit small in uh, in this model for the size of the home, but that obviously means there's more living space, four bedrooms, um mismatched a good idea before you sell a home like this is to change your white uh hood fan into a black or stainless steel your kitchen is the most important room in the house and you want that hood fan to match the rest of the appliances it's just it's very simple the black ones probably cost you 70 or 80 dollars and they're easy to put in and it makes a big difference in the impression so the rest of the home looks good clean tidy obviously it's new um for me, I would say the price, 
seems fair, but I mean, why not go over to something like Bennett? Say it's an older house, right? It's a different style. Uh, get your finished basement. Total living space is the same, and you're paying a lot less than uh, than this one here on Gleave. So it is uh, priced fair, I think, given what else these models have sold for. There's been a couple backing onto green space that have gone around the 560, 570 range, uh, with a little bit more upgrading than this one. So. If, if you uh, have any questions about anything in this list, you want to see anything, or if you just want some research based on any of these homes, say, hey, you know, what else are homes like this uh, selling for? Be glad to provide that for you. So have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. And thank you again very much for watching and tuning in every day.